Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Zanger, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this video, we are going to check out this Italian island zoo made by Accidentally Gaming. Thank you so much for sharing your Italian zoo with us for showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you guys like to see more of Accidentally Gaming, you can also find them on YouTube. So I will make sure to put a link to their YouTube channel in the description of this video so you can easily find it and if you have a finished you you would like to see me check out as well on the channel then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo and who knows i might be able to check out your zoo as well in the future on the channel now without further talking let's go and jump into this beautiful italian island zoo made by accidentally gaming and i do have to say Zooming out is like giving me still, yeah, you, you probably can't see it. I'm pointing to my FPS right now. It is super laggy. And the main reason for that is most likely the fact that this is like a giant lake and just rendering this much water is really hard for the game. So if I just pause the game for just a little bit and just start to zoom in, it should get better. At least I hope. I already did try to like do all the things that I did for my city zoo to improve the FPS from what was it? 8 to 40? So that was just insane. I made a video about that. So if you're curious how I did that, definitely go and check out that video. Now I'm not entirely sure how this will go because I just had pretty decent FPS but as of right now it is super laggy again, so let me just see if I can fix that in a different way. So it looks like restarting the zoo actually did help, but we're gonna wait and see. I right now have around 30 FPS, so the trick that I did with City Zoo that I made a video of is also working for this zoo, but that this does mean that some things are not climbable right now. And there are a lot, a lot less animals in this zoo than when you open the zoo. So, uh, but it did work. So I'm super happy with that. Um, we have some signs here in Italian, I'm assuming, but I am not. I do not know anything about the Italian language, so I'm not even going to try. But the amount of details here, this is so gorgeous. I love all the flowers and the plants and stuff. That is looking really good. This does tell me, it's like flickering. Uh, it's, this does tell me that you did connect a burrow to a TV screen, which unfortunately is still not being fixed, but I really am impressed already by the amount of details and the beautiful architecture here. Look at this. There is a church. This is gorgeous. Wow. Incredible stuff. I really am impressed also with how you used all these decals. That looks amazing. All right, let's just follow the right side here. We're actually just walking through a real Italian island. It really feels so good. Look at all these old cracks in here. Details are really well made. Really well made? Really well made. <laughs> Look at this. You really got an eye for some really good Italian architecture. I love the little staircase here that's going a little bit up. Oh, this is gorgeous. So for those who are wondering, yes, there are animals as well on this island. So don't worry. It's not only an Italian island with some beautiful architecture. There is more. But I'm just so impressed by everything. Looking around here, wow, oh look, there's even a restaurant, looking inside here, Some ATMs, this is really nicely put together, oh man, look at this even, oh that's awesome, all these posters and stuff, that looks so cool, oh and these guests are also very happy and impressed with that. Oh, wow. You did such a great job on this island. It's always looking perfect. Like, the details are just so good. 
Look, you can even ride the boat here. There's a boat tour. Look at the viewing. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, the flickering, it's so annoying. Bienvenu Bienvenu no, Benvenuto? Benvenuto, I think. Oh, tour route. There are actually signs here, so we should not go in here. Look how awesome. Look at all these flowers and plants growing over the walls here. That is perfect. So adorable. And it works so well with also the red colors. It is beautiful. Okay, we just follow here. There's a habitat here. Oh, but what is in here? Okay, yeah, you could... <laughs> I think you had over 40 or 50 cranes. So this is the red crowned crane in here. Oh no, this is the, the flamingo. But I think the flamingo was also above 30 at least. So yeah, I did have to reduce it a lot to make sure that we were able to walk around here. And uh, not have it too laggy. I think the water is definitely also a thing. But I'm surprised right now I have 38 FPS. So this is going really well. Highly recommend everyone to, to check out that video of how you can achieve this. If you are like like me, I was completely stuck with City Zoo because it just wasn't doable to build in it anymore. Because it was such low FPS. And now I'm just able to finish it all off. It's, it's super amazing. Love this. I really like how this is so naturally flown into like the big pond around it. It looks so gorgeous. Also the viewing here to these buildings in the back. Really beautiful. A little indoor section here for the flamingos. Super nice. And as well from this side. I love also the walls here, like all the foliage work is so gorgeous. You should not go there, but look how gorgeous this looks as well. Love the archway. Oh, I hear people stuck again. <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to try to ignore them. The kangaroo rosso, the red kangaroo. That's, uh, I love the statue. There's some exhibits in here. Eastern blue tongue lizard. Look at this. The rat kangaroo habitat. Well, they don't mind that they are not able to climb. Definitely not. But yeah, there are not that many kangaroos in here due to me removing many of them. <laughs> I think this zoo had almost 500 animals in it or something and I reduced it to 100. So that is definitely helping a lot. Look at these cuties. Beautiful habitat. And I love the like the, the second row of fences right over here. They have a shelter building on this side. And then the viewing from here is just incredibly beautiful. We can look inside of their stables a little bit. All of that. I also love the combination with the red and stuff with this uh, rustic stone set, the wall set. Oh man, 10 out of 10. I just want to sit down here and enjoy the beautiful viewing right over here. Insane. Oh, there is a memorial sign right over here. Interesting. Okay, tour route. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love how you did that. Little statue here with a memorial sign as well. Look at this. Casa del Koala. I love how this is made. That looks so good. So we can just go in there, I'm assuming. Rainbow Eucalyptus. Oh, you're actually also using the signs for sharing some information about the plants and stuff. So this is koala. Oh, I actually thought it was somewhere over here. I love that this island is so well laid out that you just... You, you pretty much can't go wrong because you did add like all these fences and stuff. Look at this cool koala habitat. Very nicely made. Hi, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks stoned <laughs> and it's so chilling and vibing <laughs> it's so adorable 
So yeah, these guys are probably not even able to climb. Not that they climb in general, because I barely see koalas climb, but... Look at it! It's so chill! <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much turned it all off. But this looks really nice. I love the rock work and stuff and like the, the orange colors in here. Give it that Australian vibe to it. Really gorgeous. Oh, tree fern. Yeah, you're definitely using it for, for pretty much education and a memorial sign. I like that. I've never seen anyone do that. I do like that originality. Black poplar. Is this also habitat though? Could be. Looks really beautiful and peaceful. Just look at the viewing from here as well. A lot of you standing here. <laughs> She's just gone. She just disappeared on us. You kidding me? Siamangs. Oh yeah. Okay. The Siamangs are probably not super happy with me. Uh, can I just select this only and then make it climbable? Okay. That that should work. Like, I obviously didn't want to go through the whole zoo to check that, because then I would not be having, like, my first look at anything. I really want to avoid that. Oh, man, these flickering fences. Goodness. But what a beautiful area. You did such a fantastic job. Oh, what? On the architecture? And just, wait, what is that? Ristorante. Oh, you actually have a restaurant here. Oh, and there are seatings right over here. Oh, look how adorable this looks. I want to sit down here. Oh, I also really love the boats here. Isn't this just super gorgeous? Wow. Oh, I want to sit down and eat here so badly. Like, with this, this stunning viewing and all the gorgeous foliage work around here oh look they're now making noises so they're probably happy that they're able to climb now <laughs> oh they're not this is really nicely done okay so let's see where shall we go what is this a giant anteater habitat with the viewing here in the back of this beautiful architecture and then the little shelter building you can look into. Oh, I love how you did this with like the railings. Oh. Oh, it's waking up. Hi. Good morning. Did we wake you up? <laughs> you can also enjoy. Oh, you can even just step into a boat right over here. Oh, these guests are riding that boat. Isn't that awesome? They're super happy and excited about it. Alright, let's go around here. Siamangs on that side. And then the giant anteater. This is from the other side. This is the staff gate. Amazon house. But the tour is going to the right side. But I'm not sure if this one will be included. Wow, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. I love what you did here with the tree trunks and the roots. And then oh, this is looking so amazing. Look how awesome. This is such a great way of, of adding exhibits in here. The temple pieces. Everything looks so good. Look at this. Wow, you did a great job on decorating these exhibits. Absolutely fantastic. And the roof is gorgeous here as well. Oh, love this building. This is so inspiring. Oh, you can stand here. And uh, what kind of habitat is it? Capuchin monkeys? But this is not a capuchin monkey that is walking here. Is that a caiman or something? I think it is a caiman, but... Oh, spectacled caiman. Wait, were we supposed to go to the right side here? For the tour, right? Yes. So we can go around it. Oh, we have an underwater viewing. Look how beautiful. Really nicely done. 
There are the spectacled caimans. Look, look, look. I wonder if they're able to deep dive in here. All getting out, it looks like. A really beautiful. Oh, this is a lot deeper here. Oh, that one is deep diving. Oh, I, I'm gonna have it more realistic, so not like this. Oh, there we go. We can see it like this. That looks so cool, doesn't it? Look at the rock work and the foliage work here. Oh, this is awesome. Look at it coming so close. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> really beautiful. I love this climbing frame. That looks amazing. Okay, I need to turn it on. Can you? Yes, perfect. There we go. There are a few capuchin monkeys left. Not that many, because you also had a lot of capuchin monkeys in here. And I think also pea files. I think I removed a lot of pea files as well. Wait, this is the other side of the Amazon house. Look at the air conditioning on the outside. And these towers here. Oh man, they look so good. Capuchin monkey, the, the climbing frames are awesome. Here are some capuchin monkeys. Really nicely made, these climbing uh, climbing frames and like the ropes and stuff. This is gorgeous. I'm so impressed by all the, the overgrown details. You really got a great vibe through our, throughout this whole Italian island. Jafalski's horse, look how beautiful. I don't know why, this this kind of gives me like Ragnarok uh, vibes of Ark. I don't know if any of you watching right now has played Ark. I love Ark. If, if you want to see me play Ark uh, or in the future again, uh, definitely go to my Delady Gamer channel. I, I did play some Ark already on that channel and I'm definitely planning to start a new series this year. But uh, yeah, this this for some reason like the 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 how would I call it the flat plains the Scotland plains I'm not entirely sure but this reminds me of that it's just with the waterfall and stuff. Oh gosh, this is so good looking. I love the open field right over here, and then you have like this this house or mansion or something in the backside. Oh, we have the rat deer here. Are you the follow deer? I think you are the red deer, yes. Look at it, it's so close. Eating from that feeder. Standing up with pride. These animals are so freaking beautiful. I love the fencing here, by the way, as well. That works super well with these metal fences. Gorgeous habitat. And look into a red deer habitat from this side. You had a lot of Chevalsky's horses as well. But yeah, not that many anymore left. There's one sleeping or two sleeping up probably. But look how beautiful this looks. Gorgeous open area on the Italian islands. Little peak in here. Look at that building. That looks amazing. This is a follow deer. God, we can, I think we can see them from the other side here as well. Here, let's go up here. Look, this is a walk through. Oh my goodness, look how cool. You can actually walk through this, this follow deer habitat. Oh, this is awesome. I love how you set this up. That building is so gorgeous. Oh, but this is so cool. What a brilliant idea to set up a follow deer habitat like this. That building. Wow. I really love what you did here. I love these feeders here. That looks so cool. I really, I really hope Frontier is going to add more variation into the feeders at some point. I doubt it though, which is so frustrating. Man, I love this building. Are these, what, what are these? The Twilight, from the Twilight pack and then recolored. Gosh, that looks so freaking good. Can you actually go up here? Oh, <gasps> we can? You're kidding, look at this. Oh, wow. You have a nice viewing here. Over the island, look how 
beautiful this all looks right over here. What a fantastic idea. Isn't it? Oh man, I love it. This is the shelter of the followed. What? Look at this. Of oh, this well. Oh, this is insane. So good. Oh, this is uh, this is actually a real surprise seeing it this in the backside. I didn't. Uh, if I didn't go there, I would not have seen it. Wow, it's so gorgeous. Well done, Exodentally Gaming. I am enjoying myself so much exploring this beautiful Italian island. Really such great work. So we go out here. We have a European badger sign. Oh, look at this. But is this their habitat? It looks like a feeder. Uh, it looks like this is also some kind of walkthrough. We can go through here. Eurasian links. Look at this. Look at these beautiful buildings here. And then Eurasian links on this side, on the left. Oh, wow. Look at this. Is it gazebo, right? I think you call it a gazebo. Oh, look at a little one. Oh, how adorable. That's oh, so pretty. So if we go to here, do we then see that badger? There's a badger. That's the badger, right? Yes, that's the European badger. Adorable. You see here, like, the roots and the vines and everything just looks so natural. That is so beautiful. Oh, there we go. This is probably... I'm not sure if you have more. But it could be that if we just turn this one off, like this, I'm sorry to do that, but just to show you guys, if the flickering will stop, if this was the only burrow connected, that's the issue. I would recommend to not not use the burrows. I know, I know it's sad, but it's been over a year now. I think it, I think we still have an issue. I, I see still flickering, but. It's been over a year now since since the, the burrow webcams are completely broken, unfortunately, and causing this weird flickering in your zoo as soon as you connect burrows to it. Yeah, there's still there there's gotta be another one somewhere connected, unfortunately. But man, I love how you did this. But yeah, my advice is to just stop using them. As long as they don't fix it, just stop using them, unfortunately. Look how cool this looks! Wow. Oh, this is just so fantastic how you set this all up. How people are able to get into the boat. Oh man. I oh, love this so much. Okay, the, the tour route is going that way, but we can have a nice viewing here in the, into the Eurasian Link habitat. I'm assuming. What? <laughs> Can't get over their sounds. It's so funny. So, okay, Red Fox, Tour, and the Alpine Ibex. Oh, look how cool. I wanted to say I love the rock work, but this is probably that enrichment item. I think it is. <laughs> but the rock work here in the back is really nice. Love the waterfall. That one looks really good. Oh, and this building as well. Wow, that is so beautiful. Look at this viewing. It's amazing, and also with the different height elevations and stuff. So the red fox is right over here, just walking in someone's garden, pretty much. Looks like some, I, I think some kind of grapes or olive trees. Wow. I love how you did that. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is such a cool way of adding the red fox in here. This is like the most Italian styled themed habitat and it's so freaking cute. I guess I actually go in there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. oh, look. Oh, I love how you did this. This is obviously not for the guests. This is only for staff. I just wanted to see this. Even have like these cute shelter buildings here. Love it with like the tomato plants in the front. It's amazing. 
Oh, oh, look at this garden. It's so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. Okay. Hoo-hoo! I'll plant Ibex. Shelter habitat. A shelter... This is another... What is this? This is also an Alpine Ibex. Yes, because this is also the stones where they are able to climb onto you. I love that building. It looks adorable. Red pandas! Aww. I did not delete those, right? I don't think so. No, there's one. Oh, but they are not able to climb. Shoot. Turn it on. Turn it on. That one on. That should be enough. They're able to walk up here, I'm assuming? Yeah, I think so. Look at this! That's adorable! I really like this habitat. I love how small it is, but very nicely decorated. And then with like this, this little, I don't know how to call it, little uh, thing. <laughs> really nicely done! love the fencing here on the edge and like the, the rocks and stuff, the details. Beautiful viewing. Hello. <laughs> Did not mention that at all yet. Oh, uh, the red crowned crane walkthrough. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, look. Oh, that is beautiful. And it's so nice how you, you have like this more Asian themed area into your Italian zoo. Oh, look here. How gorgeous this looks with the flowers and the statue. Having a look at this beautiful island. Oh, this is really pretty. Love this as well. So, so peaceful. Really cool with all these flowers. So beautiful and colorful. So if we go around, that looks like the exit already. Oh no! Did we see everything on the middle? Look at this building. This could be like a hotel or something. Look at all the flowers. I think you have used the most flowers I've ever seen in Planet Zoo, and it's just so freaking gorgeous. Just take this in. This is so beautiful. Wow. So you can just have a nice and relaxing viewing here onto this little section. It's almost an island, I think. A little island connected to the bigger island, but I could be wrong. That's the feeling I got. Little restaurant building, which is adorable. Seating area here. Look at this with all the grapes hanging down. Oh my, it's so gorgeous. So now, where do we go? This is a P for Hamtan. This is not where we should go. So we are going through here with a lot less P files. I tell you that. <laughs> There's even a fountain here. The villa is open. It does look like a like an entrance of a hotel, isn't it? Okay, gorgeous. Look at this. Wow. Oh. It's just breathtaking. So gorgeous. My goodness, I'm so happy I went uh, went inside of here. So when you go outside, you have P-Files walking around at the entrance of the hotel or villa. Cool! What a crazy cool idea. Really beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't help myself. <laughs> Oh, they have a little shelter building here if they want to have a little bit more privacy. Look, oh, I actually still have a lot more than I thought. Maybe there were babies and they did grew up. I like this shelter building a lot. And just in general, like this, this Eiffel Plaza looks amazing. Nice viewing here. 
What a beautiful zoo. I was almost... Wait, where do we go out? Oh, probably here. Yes. I was almost thinking that this was the end. There's a viewpoint from here as well. Oh, look at the gas. They're actually using it. Beautiful viewing here as well. All right, let's see. Tour is going this way. So we have giraffes and zebras. Look at this. Such a stunning viewing in their habitat. There's so many people being stuck. Love this, this overly grown and lush area on that side. Also like the, 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 the grass here in the middle. Beautiful. It's all so nicely put together. Where are these guests screaming? Oh, here they are. <laughs> we found them. Look how beautiful and open this all looks. Goodness. You people. Leave me alone with your screaming. Can they now go? Okay. And this group is still stuck. And that group is still stuck. Gosh, there's so many people stuck here. Is that one group? Yes. Oh. Yes, that's your... Oh. And the screaming stops. Isn't that awesome? We did that. It worked. What do we have here? It's the other side of the zebras and the giraffes. Love this fencing, by the way, with the, the, with the bamboo and stuff. Looks really nice. We have the warthogs. Oh, yeah, you also had a lot of warthogs in here. Ugh. Common ostrich on this side. And then a warthog on that side. Where do we go? Do we go around here? What a cute shelter building for these guys. Look. Oh, this is so nice. Wait, can the guests walk through there? Okay, well, it's. I guess it's not supposed for us to go through there. <laughs> but we'll avoid some bottlenecks. Let's go and check out the, the ostrich on this side. Really like this indoor section. Looks super nice and, and, and a great way of using these these Italian architecture buildings. Nice, just just a plain, more grassland habitat, but it looks nice. Butterfly gardens. Oh yeah. I accidentally deleted all the butterflies, so I wasn't sure what butterflies you had, so I did add just a few back in here. I guess the sides don't work because of that. So we still see some butterflies, but I didn't add too many just to make sure that... I'm not sure how many FPS butterflies actually ask, but this is so beautiful. I love it, how you have just an outdoor garden with some, some, some fountains and stuff, decorations, and then have these walkthrough exhibits. I'm so surprised to see how creative people are with using these walkthrough exhibits for the for the butterflies and well, I'm not, I have not seen that many yet of the uh, brown throated sloth, but we did see a lot of really creative ways of using the bat uh, bat exhibit. So yeah, I'm definitely super impressed by how people are using that. It looks so amazing. I think we're just going to follow this path right over here. This is the other side of the Shavalsky's horse from the from the top. Look how gorgeous that building looks. Where do these guests come from? This is this is like the, the exit. Is there anything inside here? No. There are just some staff buildings. Were they just sneakily looking through the gate, maybe? That could be. Look at the awesome rock work on this side. It's beautiful. Tour routes. We are going to the Komodo Dragon Habitat. Oh, that's cool with all the water and, and the stone edges right over here. Nice circular shape. That looks really good. And then you have like these, these planters on top of here. Look at this. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that works super well actually with that statue. What do we have here? Oh, this is the top of these awesome tropical exhibits. That's so cool that you can walk around it. What an original idea. I love that. 
So wait, this is the other side of the Simon. So this is probably like a shelter building for them. Look how cool. You can look into it from here. Oh, they're they must be happy that they're able to climb again. Oh, sleeping. Oh, this is a really nice way of of making a shelter for these guys here as well. With this beautiful Italian building again. Okay, we go around here. And this is the other side of the Komodo dragon. I really love the wall here. How you did that. And also this fencing right over here. Nice foliage work and stuff on this side. That looks beautiful. Okay, where do we need to go? The tour route is going this way. So, okay, wait. This is a staff building. Just go through here. Also, just notice the fact, like, how many of these stone walls you have put down. That must have taken ages. Looks like a hand. It's more of like a grass field where the guests can walk through. Nope, nope, don't go there. <laughs> what is this? A lemur walkthrough. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at that. Love how you use all these planters. It's just such an original, creative way. Really nice work. Beautiful fountain here. Did I actually delete? Oh, wait, they have. Okay, wait. <laughs> the lemurs also have some outdoor space to walk because I thought maybe I deleted them by accident, like completely. Look, hi. You're probably already done. Yeah, there's no food here. They're so beautiful. I don't think they have that many climbing frames, though. Doesn't really look like it. Maybe the trees, yeah, of course, yeah, they will be able to, to climb the trees and stuff. But we can actually just enable that. <laughs> but I doubt we will see them, but they have so much to climb on. Oh, that's a really cool way of adding this. Some kind of little greenhouse with a lot of climbing frames for these lemurs. That's super awesome. Okay, we're gonna follow through here. Love all the decals here on the floor and the rock work. And we go to the right side. Gelateria. Gelateria? I thought it was gelateria. No, gelateria, I guess. I'm, I'm, well, that's my best Italian, guys. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, this is the entrance. Isola dello Stambeco. No. <laughs> I should just even stop trying. This is the exit, right? This is where we... Oh, look. You can even buy some stuff right over here. Oh, Man, but this is so gorgeous. Wow. This is so impressive. The amount of details you put into the architecture... It's, it's, it's so mind-blowing and the fact that oh, I, I I hope for you that you did not have to deal with such low FPS when building this whole zoo but man this was so gorgeous and it's so nicely laid out in so many ways like all these these angles or all these corners of the islands they look so stunning yes it is gorgeous in so many ways. You really did such a fantastic job on this one, Accidentally Gaming. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, wait, I want to see that building as well. Thank you so much for sharing this beautiful Italian island zoo with us. It really was such a pleasure to walk around here and see what, what you did with this whole island. It was just really original. I really loved it. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Do let me know in the comments down below what was your most favorite part of this Italian island zoo. And leave something nice for Accidentally Gaming in the comments down below. And if you want to see more of Accidentally Gaming, definitely go and check out that YouTube link in the description of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!